All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him told us that there was a man in ancient times who had sinned against Allah Almighty and neglected his obedience to him. He had not done any good deeds that would intercede for him with Allah Almighty as far as he thought. So when he knew that his death was near, he ordered his obedient sons and said to them, What kind of father have I been to you? They said, The best father. He said, I have never done any good deed in my life. When I die, burn me, then grind me into dust, then scatter me in the wind. By Allah, if my Lord is able to, he will punish me with a punishment that he has never punished anyone else with. So when he died, they did that to him, burning his body after death, then grinding it until it was crushed into small pieces, which they scattered on a very windy day, so that its parts would be dispersed in the earth, thinking that Allah would be unable to revive and raise him for the dead because of that. When they did that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the earth to gather its parts and bring what it had deposited from it. And there the man was standing before Allah as he created him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, and he knows him best, what made you do this? So he replied that he did it only because he feared Allah Almighty with great fear and feared his punishment and anger. So Allah Almighty forgave him what he had done out of his favor and grace. Contemplating the effects of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a great door to increase faith. Allah Almighty has commanded us to look and reflect on his kingdom and to reflect on his lawful and significant verses. This story shows one aspect of the absolute greatness of Allah Almighty, a great manifestation of the power of Allah Almighty, and that no one can defeat him. May he be glorified. The mercy of Allah encompasses everything. The sinner, no matter what he does or commits, will not be able to escape from Allah Almighty and that everything in the heaven and the earth is a soldier of Allah's soldiers and a creature of his creatures, that Allah is able to revive every soul and hold it accountable for what it has done of good or evil. And we see the great power of Allah Almighty and his dominion over the unjust nations. Allah destroyed the people of Noah, Ad and Thamud, Pharaoh and the companions of the elephant, so this story is a reminder of the power and mercy of Allah Almighty. It's a lesson for us to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to obey him. It's also a reminder that Allah is always forgiving and merciful. May Allah forgive us. Please comment below if you have any other questions. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.